And now, ladies and gentlemen, talking about women and girls, we'll now hear from one of the key partners and presenters of today's event, the United Nations Entity for Gender Equality and Empowerment of Women, or UN Women Philippines Country Coordinator. Please give it up to Ms. Maria Rosalyn Lelen Messina to give her opening message. Honorable Vice President Sara Duterte, Edie Christine Yuson Chavez, and the rest of the Philippine Commission on Women team, Mr. Stephen Tan, and SM Supermalls team, R.C. Gustavo Gonzalez, together with the UN heads of agencies and the team members present here with us today, government agency and civil society organizations, development partners, ambassadors, and members of the diplomatic community, our speakers, panel members, moderators, and everyone else who are part of the organizing and technical team whose work made it happen today, champions and advocates for women and girls, our guests, happy International Women's Day to all of us. Today marks a very special day for you and women here in the Philippines as we embark on galvanizing our work in promoting gender equality and women's empowerment in the country through a more proactive approach and engagement with partners and stakeholders who play and will play important roles in making equality a lived reality for everyone through policies, mechanisms, and programs that promotes, protects, and upholds women's human rights as we work hand in hand with communities, partners, decision makers, policy makers, and implementers together. Centering on the key theme of our IWD celebration and launching the month-long activities as initiated by the Philippine Commission on Women and all participating government agencies, CSO and private sector partners to break the code to achieve gender equality through technology and innovation, we hope to find ways to maximize and harness the potential of this amazing platform to accelerate the achievement of our 2030 Agenda and the Sustainable Development Goals. With women making significant contributions towards developing new technologies, most often invisible or unacknowledged in the past, to now making headways in leading technology companies, system integrators, digital innovators, developers, and those providing pathways for decent work through digital labor, there is so much we can look forward to. But despite this, we need to continuously remind ourselves that persistent gap in terms of access, use, and control of technology keeps women and girls lagging and often expose them to various vulnerabilities and dangers of violence and exploitation online. And this is where awareness and education plays a vital role. The digital revolution presents both an opportunity and threat. And today, we will hear from our policy and decision makers how to maximize presenting opportunities and minimize these threats through honest discussions and conversations about programs, roadmaps, as well as actions that we can all do together. From policy conversations this morning to affirmative actions this afternoon, we want today to be an inspiring as well as an unsettling one that we will all leave the hall wanting to make a difference in the way we look at and do things, whether that is at home, at work, or in the communities where we belong. It is a privilege for you and women to be co-presenter, co-organizer, and open this important event. From here, we hope to bring forward a strongly aligned work and initiate more partnerships and further deepen relationships to carry out strategic collaborations and impactful work. This, we hope, will help us bring closer to our aspiration for an equal, inclusive, peaceful, and sustainable future for all of us today. Maraming salamat po at magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Salamat, Ms. Len Messina. Mas lalo po kaming na-excite sa mga magiging diskusyon po ngayong araw, especially about digital innovation, the opportunities and threats presented by this um, topic or issues.